The thing about manlotism is that there's nothing you can do to escape it. You're constantly reminded of your shortcomings. The point I will be making is that society is designed in a way to sweep the issues that short men have under the rug, which makes us miserable, since we're not allowed to talk about it. It's kind of like how hostile architecture is supposed to make life miserable for homeless people by not actually solving the issue of homelessness. To sort of illustrate my point here, I'll give you the example of park benches. With hostile architecture, there are these dividers on these benches, right? So that homeless people can't sleep on them. Sure, the problem might be solved for some people. They move out of their perfect little park. The thing is, just making homeless people move from one area to another area doesn't really solve the problem of homelessness. All it does is sweep the problem under the rug so that no one can see it. The point is that these structures make the lives of homeless people infinitely worse so that everyone else can marginally benefit, right? And that's the same situation, I think, with short men. Society is designed in a way to make our lives miserable so that everyone else can benefit marginally. Issues manlets have are just swept under the rug so that everyone else doesn't even have to feel the slight guilt that they might have or how badly we're treated. This is something tall people will never understand. A really good example I found on r slash tall, for example, this ignorant fucker. Let's see what he says. Not hating on them, it's a genuine question. I just found out about the sub r slash tall and I'm loving it so far. I saw r slash short pop up on the recommendation and decided to visit. This sub is seriously depressing. Is life really that hard for short people? I feel like I even asked that question on that sub. I would be downloaded to hell. It sounds like a lot of them to struggle with problems. I mean, I know plenty of short dudes that have a loving wife so living it's life to the fullest. I'm just wondering, because r slash toll is a community for us tall people to come together and support each other, but r slash short is just a little bit of money. No one is this bit. The argument he seems to be making is that tall people on r slash tall are supportive to each other, but on the flip side, apparently r slash short is just a pity party. Here's the thing. If people are talking about their problems and they are relating to each other in that capacity, wouldn't that be considered supportive? Because from my personal experience as someone who's 5'3", I was never able to talk about my issues as a short man or manlet. Regardless of how obvious my problems are, right? They just bring out the cookie cutter assembly line responses where they just talk about how, oh, you could fit in small spaces. Oh, did you know Prince is 5'2"? As if it's just that easy to become a multi-million dollar celebrity. And when am I going to use the small spaces advantage, quote unquote? I know what advantage you quote unquote have. When people go into a car, you're going to be stuck in the middle and suffer. That's your small space advantage. Just an excuse for tall people to take up the best seats on the car on the edges, right? It's completely selfish. These are the most selfish, nonsensical excuses you can think of. They know it, but they dismiss it because they don't care. It's not something that they suffer directly. It's only something that people who are short, truly short, truly understand. Just tall people don't get it. They don't get the disrespect you get as a short man. They don't get the additional costs you might incur as a short man. They don't get how unattractive you look as a short man. And the list goes on, and I'll give you a small example, no pun intended. This literally is a small example. It's nothing compared to the overall disadvantages you have as a short man. This is something that tall people complain about all day, which is clothing size. I have to wear small or extra small, or ugly or extra ugly, as I like to call it. Even with that, I have to get my clothes altered. And just doing that costed me hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Meanwhile, all the tall people have a store dedicated just for them. Big and tall stores, right? ID bends over backwards to fulfill the needs of tall people while we have to spend all of this money to get our clothes altered even though we make less money on average. If we started charging people on plane tickets based on how much they weigh, people would go ballistic, right? Because tall people are heavier, fat people are heavier, they actually have political power. Manless don't have any political power. Only about 13% of the population is five, six and below. Think about that and divide that by two. Since half the population, roughly half the population is male, half the population is female. So I would say only 6% of the population are actually short enough to face the full brunt of the discrimination short men face. They're a tiny portion of the population, so of course no one gives a shit. They're these worthless goblins that everyone hates just because of something that you couldn't control. How the fuck are you supposed to control your height? It's widely accepted scientifically 
that height is determined by genetics. People treat us as if we did something wrong for something that's beyond our control. It's ridiculous. And again, why do we have to make so much less money? Why do we have to not get promoted as much? Why do we have to be perceived as so fucking unattractive, right? To the point that we're seen as basically subhuman. There are countless statistics on this, countless studies. These are legitimate problems, but apparently they're just pity parties. What the fuck? Let's take a look at what tall people see as supportive of each other. This post, it seems that they're making fun of r slash short by having a tall guy, presumably the person that is posting this picture, and his girlfriend. I'll leave it up to you as far as what this person is trying to communicate. This post talks about how this tall guy loves being tall, how he gets instant respect, how he gets girlfriends very easily, and how he just loves being tall, right? How the fuck is this supportive? This is something you can just say to average people and they would just congratulate you for it, right? They won't say, oh, you're, you're being so negative. That's never going to happen. Short men are the ones who need the support, right? Since if they talk about their problems, they're dismissed and mocked. So, I mean, they're the ones who need to actually have a support network. And you may be asking, aren't tall women facing the same kind of discrimination short men do? Nah. Look at this post. Strangers asked to take a picture with me because of my height. 6-3-F! And of course there's response talking about how they were treated like celebrities for being tall in Asia. More of the same boastful bullshit. I'm not saying that tall women don't have problems, I'm just saying that it doesn't even compare to the discrimination short men face in regards to height. You think manless get the same treatment for being unusually short? Of course not! If people are unusually short, we're an object of ridicule. In all of these posts, it just seems that people are boasting about their height. It's equivalent to just me posting a picture of a mansion I might have, right? And saying that, oh, it's so great to be rich, right? Like, how is that supportive? So if I talk about the struggles of being poor, and I talk about it with other poor people, isn't that supportive? Like, I, I don't know how this logic works. Actually, I do know. If you have everything, that's great. If you're struggling, it's your fault, and you should be ashamed of it. And you better not complain about it. Otherwise, you're just being whiny. Just a sadistic and anti-intellectual way of looking at things. You can have all the evidence in the world, you can have all the stats on your side, but it doesn't matter. Every misgiving is perceived as a moral failing. Even if your problems are due to a genetic trait you have, making fun of people that are less fortunate than you, and showing off is being supportive, quote unquote. And actually talking about legitimate problems that are evidence-backed is just being whiny. Again, in general, this seems to be the condescending, sadistic attitude that people have towards short men, especially tall people. And it doesn't end there either. It seems that every time short men try to create a support group where they can talk about our issues revolving around being short, tall people seem to have an issue with it, right? Already bad enough to be socially alienated, because of your physical traits that you can't control, and being mocked for even discussing their issues. So it's pretty clear that we're not welcome in the mainstream communities, right? Or tall people's communities. So you would assume that they would be happy if we just left them alone, right? If we just left and made our own communities, right? And they're still unsatisfied because we dare to talk about our own problems away from their eyes. And I mean, that's still not good enough for them. So they just want us to shut up about it and suffer in silence. It just seems that they really want us dead.